lots of miles to be done during five days. First to the Walker Stadium, Leicester, and a great start with a Marlon King goal straight from a free kick after just ten minutes. Straight through the wall, Rob Douglas no chance. But in six minutes, just before half-time, the whole course of the match changed. Joey Good Johnson, unmarked at the far post, levels for Leicester. And from this corner, with the referee close, a penalty awarded for hands against Matthew Spring. Complaints come to nothing. And Good Johnson puts the Foxes in front. It didn't get any better, at least in the short term. That challenge by Carl Carlisle. Second yellow card. Watford must play out the match with ten men. But in front of a crowd of just short of 19,000. Boothroyd's men showed their resilience. And Malky Mackay squared it late on. A hard one point. So to one of the longest trips of the season. Just days after returning from Leicester. And Deepdale, Preston. And again an early goal, this time from Matthew Spring, after just 10 minutes, good work from Gavin Mann, good finish by the former Leeds man, but within three minutes Preston were level, Callum Davidson judging the bounce right, and beating Foster. Now for Marn. Now for Mackay. Looks for King. Good control. King has gone on here. Oh, that's brilliantly done by Marlon King. And the mood around the place is completely changed. Right at the end of the half top of the first half with a goal totally out of nothing. They're queuing up for it as well. It's gone in and it's Guy Butters and it's 1-1. Butters looping header over Foster. So McNamee with the free kick once more. Blaney stayed on his line and this time it is a penalty to Watford for handball. It was, Mac it was Malky Mackay, it's come off the defender, and Ray Olivier right there says, penalty. <laughs> Referee warns against encroachment, and it's Marlon King, Blaney makes the save. <laughs> Jordan Stewart, this is McNamee, and again it might open up for him. There's the cross. Watford at their most dangerous when crosses are about. And there is an opportunity for Joel Grant. And the youngster puts it over the top. A second home Saturday in a row. And after only getting a point against Brighton, hopes were high of three against Plymouth. Gavin Marne, though, the closest Watford came to a goal in the first half. And they were rocked early in the second. Nick Chadwick first to respond. Argyle ahead by a goal to nil. And they looked like stealing it until right at the very end. And once again, Watford were grateful for Marlon King. An absolute rocket. Lario in the Plymouth goal, no chance. The King's right foot again to the rescue. Oh, 
brilliantly won by Branch and Carlisle has his work cut out now. Branch with Akin by waiting. Scores! Fantastic individual effort from Graham Branch. It's Holly, it's two. Rough justice, perhaps. Five strikes, certainly. Marlon won his header. Forward by Devlin. Here's Marlon King. King's had a go and scored a terrific goal. And what for the back in the contest. Fabulously crisp strike from Marlon King, who alone now for A.D. Boothroyd and for those travelling Watford fans becomes the championship's leading scorer. Oh, Doyle, he's let it go, and Foster's come, and he's taken the man. It's a penalty. Lloyd Doyle left Ben Foster with nowhere to go. Graham Branch merely pursued the ball. Noel Williams, O'Connor's onside here and could finish it, and does! Well, he won it well, did Henderson, King, and Spring. And the option of the wide ball and comes back across for Henderson! And Watford in front. The pinpoint cross. And Henderson simply outjumped the defender. So dangerous from set plays. And again, an opportunity for Carlisle. From the set play, Henderson caused mayhem, defence didn't get, Carlisle did. You know, real menace from three kicks, you know, and he's done it again because that's gone in as well. I think it's gone in off the uh, defender, Hashto, but it's 3 0. See it again now, who got the last touch here from McNamee? Yeah, it's the defender, it's the substitute, Hashto. 3 0. Hampton at least want to impress the manager. Walcott, good save by Foster. And again. And he needs to do more, and it's off the bar. Walcott so sharp. Foster once, twice to the rescue. And a couple of days later, it was down to the new den. Yes, there were chances. Henderson setting up the first one. The Gavin Mark. And a similar story in the second half. Matthew Spring this time with the cross. And a good piece of goalkeeping. He finished nil-nil. Millwall scrapping for everything. Watford felt they should have got the three points. More chances followed. Marlon King this time. Agonisingly wide of target. Nil-nil. Mack enough this time. Right away across, and Palace have a chance. And Palace score through Darren Ward against his old club. Johnson still goes. Opportunity for Mack enough. Wide of the target. Real chance for Palace. Johnson, Mack enough. And they thought it had gone in, the Palace fans. Side. 
but in the end it's gone for Homsos who's onside. Ball in, Carlisle away, only for Johnson here. Johnson blocked by Mackay, Soares, and that will be Fosters, and he's done really well. It was an awkward spinner, and Tom Soares testing Ben Foster. And wins the free kick for Popovic's challenge. King, now Henderson, chance, 1-1! Simple goal, but wow, did he take it well from the free kick. Marlon King knocks on, and Darius Henderson squares it. Very good game, actually, if you're a neutral. Johnson. And he's done well. Morrison. That is a penalty for a foul by Clark Carlisle. Yes, they will. Very, very firmly struck. Foster had to guess. Andy Johnson. 2-1 Palace. Marlon King, who's had to fight really hard for anything he's got. Bangura, Young is on side. Boyce across, Young crosses a good one. McNamee back in for King. Straight at Kiraly. Well, the Hungarian has made three really good saves in this half. Here's the third of them. Foster's not played in any atmosphere quite like this. And it might come for Henderson, and has! What a start for Watford. See it again here. The knockdown, Henderson, left foot first time. Completely deceived Beresford. And Mackay. And he's claiming the goal. And the referee's given the goal. Looked across to his assistant from the court. The ball played in. Mackay's got the touch. And there, it's in. It's 2-0. Oh, and he didn't make the clearance. This is Edwards. There's how Luton will respond. We've got some game now. It's good work again. And suddenly Luton come charging forward. Howard! Great save by Foster. Super piece of goalkeeping because this man, Steve Howard, when he gets a firm header, has scored goals all over the place. And again, we just need to keep that time. That was Foley coming in and Young. And it's all a bit unnecessary. Who's Foley on Young? Foley gets yellow. And Young gets red. A kick says Ian Williamson. And Young is sent off. A home draw in the third round of the FA Cup against the Premiership side with UEFA Cup fixtures to fulfil and some thought this might be one of the upsets. Borghetti had other ideas and Watford struggling to clear their lines a goal down after just 10 minutes. Premiership finishing was to be their undoing the second from Stelius. 33 minutes gone. 
and Bolton seeming in cruise control. Into the second half. And the third goal from Ricardo Vashte. 18 minutes to play and Bolton three up. King. King still going. King still going. Good save by Siemenson. And that's a good advantage played by the referee. It's a corner. King was being pulled and he said he was being pulled. Mr. Crossley saw he was being pulled. But Hopkins, the referee... who had a good first half for Stoke, really did everything asked of him at the back of the Belgian international. And that's an interesting ball for Marlon King. Henderson arriving. Hopkins didn't get. It'll come for Eagles. Chris Eagles! And there was it looking almost to move out of nothing here. And Hopkins, there was I saying he commanded everything. He's made a mistake. Ball has come for Eagles. He's got there before Brooms. Past the despairing Siemenson dive. And Watford lead by a goal to nil. Harper. This is Chadwick. Opportunity here, good save by Foster. And that was a really good opportunity and a very, very good save by Ben Foster. Header down by Dubry, only found Marlon King and Amber Boaza is in space. This is Boaza. And he's done well to get past the first challenge. There's the cross and he's come for Eagles this time and he's put it over. Unbelievable. Almost replicating the miss at the other end by Paul Gallagher. Credit for Azza, it's a great cross under an immense amount of pressure. Huge. And isolated, squeezing across, McCoy away. And back by two hooper Jarrett. Now the play. return to Carroll Road is a miserable one. Not a lot of contact, not a lot in it as to whether it was in or out. Now, which way will he put it? Straight down the middle! Morich in front, Paul McVeigh, the man who won the penalty, scores the penalty. Henderson to Mark. Now King. Well, that's dangerous, it came off the goalkeeper, and it's in by Henderson. Robert Green looks pensive, but that was a devilish ball for the goalkeeper to deal with. Once King was free on the right-hand side, he decided just to lash it across the face of goal. It was too hot for Green to handle, and Henderson was the man on hand to score his fourth goal in seven matches since his return to the side at Christmas. On by Thor. Huckabee getting on the dangerous side of Doyley. Put three for Kapani here, Darren Huckabee. Oh, Thor! A long last. Eagles running free. It's deep towards the head of King. Forced away, I think, by the arm of Colin. Yeah, a free kick's been given. Not quite sure what the Dutchman had in mind there. No, it's Marlon King. Oh, good save. Henderson is in. It's 2-2. Darius Henderson again. Watford equalise again. Element of surprise with King taking the free kick. It was a really good instinctive stop by Green. But instinctive finishing too by Henderson, who takes his tally to nine for the season. Henderson. King to try to help it on. He's done well there, Marlon King. Dorney outside of him. King's cross. Spring! That's the winner! Stoppage time, and Matthew Spring has surely won it for Watford. Half 
to some more good approach work by Marlon King with that shot on the turn. It's just allowed a little bit too much time. Caught Doherty, wrong-footed, to squeeze in the shot. Young, now Henderson. This is spring for Watford. And he might have a goal! Brilliantly done! Watford lead by a goal to nil. And Matthew Spring, who got the late winner at Norwich a week ago, gets the opener here with 17 minutes played. A right foot rocket. Turnbull can't get to it. And it's first blood to Watford. Doyle is the... Express down the outside, but that's a great ball by Eagles for Spring. He might try and go himself. It's come for Henderson. Great save by Turnbull. Doily, Spring, and it's two. And just for a moment, you thought Lloyd Doily was going to score. He made a mess of it, and Matthew Spring's got his second. Eagles. Now kick. Walker keeps the close tabs on him. Eagles has got his side, and King has made it 3-0 with a real marvellous piece of skill. Really super skills from Marlon King, and it's 3-0. Came out of nothing, really. Just had a yard, no more. And it's through the legs of Walker. Now King. Leaves it for Eagles. King's gone to the middle. Young is there as well. They're waiting for it. Young is for Ashley Young marks his return with a goal. And it was a question of who'd be on the end of it. And straight to Boaza. And Watford with another attack. Eagles outside him. Boaza goes on. And just past the post from the Frenchman. Vaughan for, for Crew. And they're on side here, and an opportunity for Crew is taken by Luke Rogers. Crew have a goal with 10 minutes to play. Yeah, that was a good win. Um, I think it could have been a potential banana skin for us. Um, so we've come out and we've approached the game properly and done a professional job. Home form is now decent. It was a good win against Stoke, followed by a good win here. But if you look at what you've got to play away from home, if I suggested to you that how the season is going to end might well depend on what you can get away from, what you can pick up on the road from here on in. When you've got to go to Reading, you've got to go to Sheffield, you've got to go to Leeds, you've got to go to Palace, you've got to go to Wolves. Is that a fair way of looking at it? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we know, but I think our away form is, is good. I think teams will be a little bit wary of, of us coming to their ground, you know. Um, so I don't think we're not we're not bothered about playing away, I don't think, because uh, the pitch here isn't the best. Um, so to get away from away from here and play on <clears throat> probably better pitches than that, it, it's it's good for us. Well, down in that tunnel, there's plenty of optimism, excitement, hope but a lot of nervousness about what is to come in the coming weeks and months, and understandably so, times are good, and in the next three months, they could get better. They could get a lot better for Sheffield United and for Watford. Here's King. It's a good ball in and a fine goal. What a terrific start. Chris Eagles with his first Watford goal. What a great goal that is, and that's from a winger getting in front of his marker and scoring on the near post. Breaking down the left-hand side, you can see long throw from Malcolm Mackay helped on. Just get down there, takes the cross really early on the half volley. That's a super cross and a great header. I think that's the key, taking that so early. Half volley cross and a great header at the near post. That's a wonderful cross. Darius Henderson. Just finding himself out on the wide side, and normally players wait for the ball to settle, but he took it on the half volley. Super cross and a great header. Hansworth stronger in the challenge, he still has work to do. Oh, and as he got up, did he flick out with his elbow there, David Hansworth? And if he did, did the referee see it? Well, he's going to be very lucky here, David Hansworth. For me, he shoves Chris Eagle in the face. Chris Eagle says he was, he was getting up. That was my first interpretation of that he's going to be a lucky boy if he's just a yellow card which is right in front of the referee 
It is a red card for David Unsworth. They're going to be the same old handful, those two up front for Watford in the second half. Here's Marlon King, again causing problems, big problems, big, big problems, terrific goal. January's Player of the Month delivers again for Watford. It was always going to be the danger, Bromby doesn't deal with the first bounce, and as soon as he doesn't, King gets his body across him, and he never really looks like catching him, and it's all a question of... Does he ca catch that shot right? And he does. Lively pitch, and it's perfect. You see, doesn't deal with the bounce. This is the danger. Big, strong, bustling away. And that's a great half volley to hit the target. You can see clearance by Spring. Doesn't deal with the bounce. Tricky bounce. Gets across him. But look at this for a finish. He catches that flush on the half volley. That's a super finish, because believe you me, that's not easy to keep down when the ball's bouncing about as lively as that. Great finish from King. And they can come back and get something from this game. Give them a massive boost because there are tricky games around the corner. That's on by Sean Eiffel stole in and Sheffield United have one back. Akinbai's missed it, it's loose, it's King, it's three for Watford. The two-goal cushion is restored and Marlon King is the difference for Watford. Oh, they just keep the ball alive in the box. Sheffield can't clear their lines, and as soon as you can't clear your lines, like all night, it's who reacts first to that second ball, and it's Marlon King. Cross comes in, there's no one really dominating and getting there in the air. Comes up for Malky Mackay, falls down, and King reacts first, that's the key. No one's winning that first ball. All night long they've had their problems against Watford, and again they're made to pay. King reacts and just hooks it in. Malky Mackay, back for Gavin Mann, they're queuing up in the centre, and it's four, a fourth for Watford and a first for Boatza, the route of Bramall Lane is complete, and Watford are on the march. Well, it's an incredible scoreline, isn't it? Not cleared at the near post, nice little one-two on the far side, see Mackay just exchanges passes with Mann, he gets his cross in, it's not cleared on the near post. I think it's Bromby there, poor clearance. And Boatza finishes well from there because that's a tight angle. You wouldn't think he could squeeze that in, but he does. The only place he probably can, in off the post, and it's 4-1. An incredible scoreline, but it's been a wonderful performance from Watford. Page away, Jordan Stewart. Now spring, time to measure across. There it is, and it's in by Ashley Young at the near post. Coventry didn't pick him up at all. And Ashley Young puts Watford in front. 31 minutes gone. To be taken by Ashley Young for Watford. King, it's in, it's 2-0. Straight from the corner. Young's free kick, queuing up for it, and this time it's Darius Henderson, and it's 3-0. Three headers, and this time Henderson's on the end, and Watford lead by three goals to nil from Ashley Young's free kick. Young takes, King got there first. Eagles, Mackay for Boaza, good save by Fulham. And that's a hugely popular moment for this hugely popular American. I think that was the loudest cheer of the day when the fourth one went in. Um, you must have been really chuffed because it crowned a thoroughly good day out. Yeah, you know, it, it did. It was definitely the icing on the cake for, uh, for me. And, uh, yeah, it was just good to get on the end of that and put it in and uh, have a little fun with the fans. Uh, absolutely delighted. Uh, I thought the boys were fantastic today. Um, Coventry are a good side, good experienced side and uh, we had to be at our best to beat them today. Do you pinch yourself this 4-0 again? Because I think if you looked at it at 3 o'clock, an informed side, you thought, let's just get the points, which we've done it in that style, must make it feel really special. 
That's right. Um, we don't we don't go to uh, fresh teams. Um, we we just we just try and beat them. And if we can do that week in week out, then, uh, then hopefully we'll be up there at the top. And there's a man who's been lately outstanding in stopping them at the other end to actually go and join in the fun. It must have been particularly pleasurable, especially at that end. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, it's always nice to get up there, and I, I, I know all the, all the centre halves enjoy getting up there and trying to get our heads on things, our feet on things, whatever we can to, to get on that score line because uh, we like scoring just as much as the forwards do. Do the players almost have to distance themselves from that and not even sort of look at Leeds and Sheffield United and think, well, let's win our match and then we'll take it from there? Is that the attitude you have to adopt? It is. It's an old cliche, but we are actually taking one game at a time. And, uh, and if we can keep doing that and staying focused and getting up for every game, then uh, hopefully we, we can nick that second spot. Is this the best spell of form and the best spell of football you've had since you've been here, do you think? I would say so, yeah. I think... Uh, the past couple games is we're really starting to run on run on all cylinders, like I said earlier, and you know it just doesn't look like anyone can stop us at the moment. With Sheffield United wobbling, a lot at stake at Allen Road, and six minutes before half time, Ashley Young, one 0 Watford. Tremendous free kick into the corner. Goalkeeper Neil Sullivan, absolutely no chance at all. But in the second half, it was to change dramatically. Rob Hulse brought down by Foster. Michael Jones says penalty. Captain Mackay wants his say, but Foster is sent off. On comes Alex Chamberlain. First job to pick the ball out of the back of the net. Robbie Blake equalises. And it was to get worse. Henderson and Butler clash. Henderson's shirt in pieces. Watford's hopes to many people in pieces as Henderson is sent off. So for half an hour, Watford had to play with nine. They were heroic, but nine minutes from time, they were undone. Robbie Blake gets the winner for Leeds, 2-1. for them to clear and Henderson a long way out of his area it's come for Eagles and he's taken aim what about that a moment of brilliance well this time you can call it Beckham-esque they're not too fond of Eagles in this part of the world they're certainly not fond of them now fantastic goal Back in Manchester, I've done it before, and I've, you, don't, you don't really say what you're going to do. Like obviously, the keeper's come out, he's headed it. If it wasn't for Kingy doing that run, obviously, the keeper wouldn't have come out, he would have probably just caught it. But the ball, he's headed it out, it's, it's just bouncing, not to be fair, it's it was bouncing, but it was bouncing nicely, it wasn't all over the show. And I, that's when I thought, this is it. And when I, as soon as I struck the ball, um, I knew, knew it was in, as soon as it left my foot. You always aim to drive it with a little bit of loft, and like I say, I caught it so sweet that as soon as I left my foot, I knew that like the two defenders and the keeper had no chance. This is Mahn, now Boaza, first time cross, they've all stayed forward, Mackay, and it's hit the woodwork, and to Merritt, and a good save by Alexander. So the woodwork and a good piece of goalkeeping, deny Watford here. Boaz has got a touch, Alexander, and Mackay off the line, not once but twice. Incredible, Neil Cox, twice off the line. Extraordinary. Now Stewart, Boaz and Spring offering forward opportunities. That's a better one in by Spring, and he stayed forward for Mackay for Young, for Cox for Young, and Alexander saved. King. Now Boaz. Testing the goalkeeper, Mackay! At last, Watford have the breakthrough! And it was well worked! 
in the end by Boasa. And uh, Malky Mackay finishes it off. To merit. This is Kumas. And this time he's onside, Whitley. And Cardiff have equalised with a really good goal. Kumas's ball was exceptional. And Whitley's finish was very, very well taken. Hardly. Still hardly. Skimmaker. And he's underhit that. And Marlon King is in here. Marlon King for Watford. And Cardiff commit defensive suicide. And has Marlon King won it for Watford? Late drama. Extraordinary, really. It all came from Cardiff's possession. And Skemeka looked at the option. It's a dreadful back pass. And King first to respond. Round Alexander. Empty net beckons. Marlon King's 17th championship goal of the season. Jason Kumas, free kick. Off the post and wide from the follow-up. And how much did Foster know about it? Um, most important thing is we've got three points. Um, and just goes to show that we've got to keep con concentration for 90-plus uh, um, minutes. Uh, as you saw, they didn't have any shots on goal and their first one was in the back of the net. So, you know, it was... Uh, we was grateful that we got the three points and we're looking forward to Derby now. Because in the first half, I thought you're going to get a hat-trick and when nothing went in in the first half, was there a bit of anxiety in the camp? I think at the time, you know, at half-time, we had four or five great chances. The goalkeeper had produced a couple of fantastic saves and um, when that's the case, you've always got to keep your concentration and you know the second half's going to be tough and uh, especially the conditions today, you know, the wind um, didn't help. So you've got to keep your concentration. So at the end of the day, uh, we managed to get Nick with three points in the end. Um, we concentrate on our own game. You get how many points you can get on the side. Saturday um, and you know the, the games are chalking off now there's, there's only 10 to go now and it's a real important time of the season to be consistent and that's what we look for consistency over the next 10 weeks and then that's when we look at it the final week or two is when you really look at it and see well let's hope they get beat today and we can get nicked this but just now there's, there's 30 points to go and there's a lot can happen the last two home games against Cardiff and before that against Coventry have been played in front of full houses what how important has that been for the players? How, what's been the, you know, has it, has it fed through to the players and they've reacted accordingly? Yeah, massively. Um, it's like a 12, well, 12th man, you know, um, when the fans keep us going, it, it, it kind of quiets their crowd and, and, and it gets on their players, you know. It, you always know as a player that you can hear the crowd, you know, supporting their team and it kind of like gives you that little bit of edge, you know, so it is, it's important and, and they're fantastic today. And he's onside this time. Lisby, Stewart coming across, didn't make the challenge. Lisby, and it's gone in for Derby County. And Kevin Lisby, after Jordan Stewart failed to cut it out, has put the Rams in front. King and Moore. King has done well. Still King, he might have a go, he does have a go! That's brilliantly done by Marlon King! That is a goal out of nothing, created by King and scored by the Championship's leading goal scorer. This is Boulder. And Doyley, opportunity for Barnes! And Derby are in front! It's 2-1! Five minutes from time, and Barnes has sent shock waves around Vicarage Road. Stewart. Spring jumped. Bangura goes on, still goes on, and scores! Al Bangura, first goal, and what a time to get it! It's 2-2. From Sierra Leone gets his first goal. Shorik. Convey. Got away from Young. Kitson's there, Doyle's there, Sonko's there, hooked away. Scrubbed off the line by Marky Mackay. 
And Watford can break them with McNamee. He's got some pace, as Murty is finding out here. And he's got three in support. Good header by Harper. Still a chance for Young, deflected, corner kick. As good an attack as either side have mounted. Reading denied on the goal line at one end. Watford denied by deflection at the other. The Championship's February Manager of the Month, Eddie Boothroyd. It's the uh, April and May awards that they all want. Tossed into Kitson, no flag here. He swung it past the keeper. And Doyle denied on the goal line by Doyle. And they couldn't force it in. I think it was two teams um, having a go to each other. I think... Uh, the, 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 the team that Steve's put together and on and off the pitch is, is a terrific uh, setup, and I'm, I'm not surprised the way they are. And we've looked at some of the things they did early doors, and we've copied some of the things that they did, um, and other teams that we play, because we think we can model the best and, and add our little bit to it, and, and we can keep getting better. Jordan Stewart will float it in. Marky Mackay can't get near it. King sends it back. Eagles. King. Henderson and Mackay are still in the middle. And it's come through to Gavin Barr with a great chance to give Watford an early lead. And he has taken it. A captain's contribution already. Watford in front as they hunt down third place. I think he takes it extremely well because he has a seem to have a lot of time to think about it. And sometimes that's when you can mess it up. The cross come in from the right-hand side and it come through an awful lot of bodies, but it always looked like coming towards him. And then he's got time, you can see he's got time as the ball creeps out to the right-hand side. Marlon King gets his cross in, he's missed by quite a few people at the front post, but he knows it's coming through, he's got time to think, I've got to keep it down, he doesn't try and smash it. That's the key to that one, just sliding it over the inside of his foot. That's a great finish, he makes it lot, look a lot easier than it actually was. Good finish from Marne. Kevin Marne beats his former Brentford teammate Paul Smith. Oh, it's come through to Marlon King, who's onside, and Darius Henderson is onside too. And Watford have doubled their lead, and they are looking very good now for third place in the championship. Well, I think he's a little bit fortunate the way it bounced to Marlon King, but he's onto it like a shot. And he fires for that far post, and you've always got two options. It goes in the corner, or if you screw it, there's another striker coming in. You can see it rebounds back in. Marlon King's onside, plays for that far corner, and Henderson doing what all good strikers do, closing that gate between six-yard area and far post. And how many goals do you get from there? I remember playing at Blackburn, Sutton and Shearer were masters at this. Always fire for the far corner, and the opposite striker is there if you miss the target. Ashley Young takes this, and back by Marn, and it's dropped in again for Darius Henderson. Watford have got a third, his second of the game. Now they're having a party. You can hear the boos ringing out around the ground, but they're very good at these set pieces. Watford difficult to contend with. Good delivery again from Ashley Young. Doesn't whip it in on goal, goes for the far pass post this time. It's just headed back in. I think it's Marlon King gets the header back in. And it's a looping header by Henderson. You see, King heads it back in. And a little looping header by Henderson. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's going for that far corner and just directs it there. Kazowski. Oh, this could be a goal for Madsen. It is. Madsen, he got his first Saints goal last week. Scores again this week. And that's the throw conceded by treating figure of Dave Livermore. Mann's throw is long. And Whitbread across. He's given the penalty for the hand by Whitbread. And Andy Derso is surrounded by angry Millwall players. But Whitbread adjudged to have used his hand. And now it's a chance for Gavin Mann. Is it a case of the captain that shows them how? Mann against Marshall. 
He saves it. And Mann's penalty miss keeps it at nil-nil. And now Eagles. And that's meant for Marlon King against Whitbread. But the Millwall man measured it well. And at the moment, the chances are coming from the Watford side disastrously. And Carla Saba has put Millwall into the lead. And it is no more than they deserve. For the last 10 or 15 minutes, they've had the better of it. Young's corner. All arriving there, including Matthew Spring. Young can have another chance. Cameron is trying to stop him. That's a good cross from Young. And Marshall did brilliantly well. Save of the match. Good to see Melky Mackay offers him a hand because it was a really dipping effort from Young. And Marshall did really, really well. Doily. Livermore. And he's onside here, Ben May. This to settle it. Foster got in touch. It's 2 0. It's all over now. On. And that's open Palace up. And here's Marlon King. Through on Kirai. Round Kirai. And Watford lead at Salhurst Park. The Championship's top scorer with his 19th of the season. Hughes. Here's McEnough, goes down, and it's a penalty! Jay Demerit, the defender, who lunged for the ball and took the man. Friedman, saved by Foster, but not the second time. And Crystal Palace a level. That came off Stewart, oh, and it's looped in! Two in four minutes for Crystal Palace. A Jordan Stewart own goal. Here's Source. He's got Morrison inside him. And it's gone in off the merit. Another own goal. Foley away. Marn arrived with Shawumni. This is Ashley Young. And now for Marlon King. And Marlon King has put Watford into the lead with his 20th championship goal. And the derby is well and truly alight now. It was a wonderful piece of skill by Ashley Young. He found him. And King over the advancing Beresford. And on his 200th league start, it's Marlon King. Who points at the badge on his shirt? This is Mackay. Spring. Chested for King. In stoppage time. King goes on. Takes aim. Good save. Well, it was hit straight at him, but he still had to get his body in the way. Beresford and push it away for the corner. Young's corner. Demerit got up. Eagles deflected for a goal kick in the end. And the chance for Luton is taken. And they're leveled through Berkovic. Came right the way across. And Watford's luck runs out. But Luton have had much the better of it in the last five or ten minutes. First half um, took a bit of time to get going, but I just sensed that you know the goal came at the right time, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I don't think it was a good one to watch for the fans, but um, sort of derby games a lot, like the sort of battles and sort of second balls and all the ugly sides of the game. But um, we scored at a good time, as you said. It was a good goal from Marlon, so uh, that's a good thing we can take into the next game. The number of points you now have guarantees you a playoff. How big an achievement is that? I mean, we've come a long way in a short space of time. Um, we wanted to win our last five games, but obviously we've drew today, so hopefully we can win our next four and, and see where that sees us. But it's always good to go into the playoffs with good form behind you, so um, we're looking to get some good results over the next uh, two or three weeks. Just a word about Marlon. That's his 20th. 
uh, and nobody's done that for this club since Luther Plissett. That probably puts the achievement into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, I think he's been um, a massive signing for the club. Um, the gaffer's brought him in when he wasn't playing at his previous club, whatever, and he's he's given him a new lease of life. And he's, um, I mean, looking, he probably could have had more goals. Um, he's been disappointed with some of the chances he's had over the season that he didn't put away. So, um, but I mean, it's, it's a magnificent achievement. For him. It's number 21 for magnificent Marlon. Well, I hate to say I told you so, but they were getting pinned back in there, and as soon as one broke, he's going backwards on this. That's a great strike for Marlon King. Talking about up the other end, someone going backwards and volleying over. Yeah, they cause a little bit of confusion in the area. They don't win it, but it comes off a of wall's head. He's going backwards and gets that half volley on target. Just watch this for technique. Going backwards. Just gets his standing foot on the floor. Great strike. And it's past Postma before he even dives. Super strike from Marlon King. And that's the difference, Ian. One chance for him, one goal. Spring. Oh, Marlon King has got in again. And a tangle with Lescott, no penalty. Well, he did get on the other side of Lescott. That's got to be a debatable one. He got the wrong side of Lescott. He slipped in there. Oh, have a look at the assistant referee as well, did uh, Marlon King. There's no reason for him to go down easy in because he's going to get a shot away. He's got the wrong side of Lescott. They're jostling for position, he gets on the other side of him. And Lescott. Oh, he still wants part of it, you can see there, he gets on the other side of him. Oh, it's a difficult one with the old tangle of legs, but does Lescott catch him? That's oh, a difficult one to give, difficult one, bit of a tangle. I suspect uh, Marlon King has said something to the assistant referee, Eddie Tarry. Yeah, he's no doubt passing that on now to Kevin Wright. Now, what action is going to be taken? King felt he should have had a penalty, and it's... A red card for Marlon King, presumably for what he said to the assistant referee. Only that they need a good start after the Wolves game. This time it will be McNamee left-footed with the corner. Queuing up, Ashley Young off the bar. Mackay's in there as well. And in the end, Carlisle and Mackay, and somehow it stayed out. First it was Young, then it was Carlisle, then it was Mackay, and Ipswich survived. Juan, Lee. Looking to make himself an opening, and does make himself an opening, good save by Foster. And it goes behind for the corner before Dean Bowditch can respond to the spillage alert. Good strike by Lee. Juan, Eagles. Still going on, Eagles trying to find the space. McNamee needs to deliver low, but in the end, the far side, and Henderson finally breaks the deadlock. And it had been coming, and it's Darius Henderson at the far post. McNamee got the opportunity for a cross. Well worked by Eagles. McNamee on the end. Crossover. Darius Henderson does the necessary. Young on the edge of the area. The other nine are manning the defensive pumps. Here's the free kick. Queuing up for it and in the back of the net. And who got the touch? It was Nicky Forster. And it's 1 1. And Henderson got nicely past the challenge of Richards. Chambers. McCavily across. Richards inside him to cover. Doyley. And Young is onside, timed his run well. 
Young, there's the cross, Price hasn't got, Henderson has, and this time Wolford do take the lead again. And it all came from a really good run by Ashley Young. He timed it right, and Henderson was quickly got off 13 for the season, and on to 14. Heads he wins, and Watford are back in front, and it's a second Darius Henderson goal. Playoffs assured, final away match of the regular season, Loftus Road, Doyley fouls his old mate Lee Cook, Mark Nygaard puts Rangers ahead, six minutes before half time, but within three minutes this piece of brilliance from Ashley Young, Paul Jones no chance, Watford level in the local derby at the interval. And Mark Nygaard had been saint earlier. Sinner, second yellow card, and he walks. And Rangers completed the self-destruction when George Santos' header went past his own goalkeeper to give Watford the win. It was uh, come from their chance, actually. Mm. Uh, ben got the ball, put it upfield. Um, Darius knocked it down. I've had a touch and just uh, bet in the top corner. Yeah, that's right, you know, there's a few things that went on, the penalty, then the sendings off, and, you know, it just got a bit fiery, but, um, you know, we got in at half-time, and, you know, we just went back out, um, started brightly, and just went out for the win. How great was it to see the, the, the almost 3,000 Watford fans there behind that goal cheering you on, great support on the day, and presumably that, that drove you along all afternoon? Yeah, the fans were brilliant, um, you know, just everybody there on the day was, uh, you could hear the fans singing, it was um, good for everybody and, you know, it's good to see the fans following us up and down the country for the whole season and, you know, we hope to repay them in the playoff. So Watford throw at the end of the first quarter, Henderson, King, and that's lovely by King. Good advantage played by the referee, Eagles is wide, King's gone for the return, Eagles skips on, still skips on, good save by Mohill. King, and in the end, Hull survived. Bangura arrived, Mahn, Duffy, now Green, it's three on three, here's Duffy, good save by Foster. Good piece of goalkeeping. Doyle. That's an interesting ball. Bangura. King. Might make for Bangura. Does make for Bangura. Chance. Good save by Moyle. Good save by the goalkeeper as Bangura got in from a delicious ball from Marlon King. Nil nil at the end of the season. Well, that was what the fixture list said, but the playoffs secured. Other results, meaning that Watford would go to Crystal Palace for the first of their two-leg semi-final. 81 points from 46 matches and third place. to the right hand 
inside of Ben Foster, but it just goes wide. It's Hughes. Soars. McEnough. Johnson. Let it go for Morrison! Who curls it just wide? I'll tell you what, what fantastic play this is between the two strikers. This is so clever, it's absolutely beautiful to watch. Just watch this over when this ball comes in, and Andy Johnson, it's fit into him, there's the dummy, he's over, Morrison reads the script, and will one touch and try and bend it into that far left-hand corner. Foster's at full stretch, but it's going wide. Well, we had a blistering start to the second half from last night at Ellen Rowe when Preston took the lead. Marlon King! Top scorer in the championship this season is at it again. What a strike! What a magnificent strike with his left foot this is. He does absolutely brilliant because he backs into the big centre half, Darren Ward, and then turns absolutely superb. Look at the celebrations there. Just watch this. Another. It happened a few minutes ago and it didn't take it any heat at all. There he is backing into the big centre back. Once he feels him close to him, then he turns and he swivels. I don't mind you going that way, says Ward, but I don't want you to produce that once you do. And that's exactly what he does. Look at the goalkeeper. He can only watch as he dives to his left-hand side, off the inside of the post. Off he goes. 1-0. Ashley Young is setting himself for a possible crack. Although Matt Spring is adjacent to him, should he... Prefer to knock it across, spring no longer there. It is Ashley Young! Fantastic! The surprise side of the season are surprising everyone again. Ashley Young with a cracker, and Watford are 2-0 up at Selhurst Park. Well, this is absolutely magnificent. What a strike this is. It's brilliant. Gabor Kirai is having an absolutely scream. Scream at the wall, I don't know. The wall just gets eased along and pushed along by a couple of Watford players, but that gap doesn't make any difference because this goes up and over the top. The goalkeeper is trying his very, very best to get across his goal and make the save. He gets the slightest of touches, but it's not enough and it's 2 0. Ashley Young, it's Matthew Spring, it could be three, it is three. It's not often that you get in the comfort zone in the playoffs, but Watford are most definitely in the comfort zone. 3 0. This is a goal of individual brilliance. You could tell that the Palace players had gone, but despite that, you've still got to have the quality to do it. Should he have played the Eagles in? Not a chance because he had the confidence in his own ability when he picked. Now what's the composure? Shift it with your right foot onto your left, and what a magnificent strike this is! Up and away from the goalkeeper, right into the top corner. Beautiful truck control, great quality. What a finish! And three 0 It is the most extraordinary sound. And then all about this, from the dome, right the way around the one-way system. And there's what they found in the second half at Sellers. The one-way system took them to 3-0. But amid some of the most amazing scenes I can remember in many years at this ground, they now face the journey. Passport to Cardiff. There's the ball in from McEnough, this time from Swords, and it was Fitz Hall just wide of target. Stewart's cross, and King just wide. I don't think Carroll got a touch on it, no, he's given a goal kick. It was Young, and then it was Stewart. Have another look at this. On the Maniki right at Wembley. Henderson. Bangura. 
And King is onside here, and it's wide of Kirali and wide of the post. Broke the trap, Marlon King. Watson, none of the Watford people want to go home for the celebrations. They want to stay here, and Henderson suddenly finding space. Young outside him, Henderson takes on Boyce, and Boyce has done well to hold him off. In the end, has to play it. Here's Liggatwood with Henderson arriving, and King and Kiralee is still not in play, and out of play, I should say, and King's put it wide. And that was all down to Darius Henderson's work right here, holding off the challenge, and then Liggatwood waited and waited, and King, Kiralee came, didn't get. The next whistle you hear will spark a titanic response from the people of this part of South West Hertfordshire for whom the glory may yet beckon. And they're the first to commiserate with Crystal Palace. They know their fate. Watford's fate will be decided in Cardiff on May. The 21st, will it be Boothroyd's present club or will it be his former club? Job done uh, and a night really when uh, it was some occasion, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, it started with a great atmosphere. You know, we, we came in to do a job. You know, the 3-0 three, three win that their place was, you know, was a great result, but we knew that we, it wasn't over and we knew that was just the first half of it. So, you know, we, we, we came in with, with uh, a thought in mind, you know, keep them scoreless, keep keep doing our jobs and we'll get the, uh, you know, we'll get the result and then that's what we did tonight. The fans have been great all season, you know, you know, and, and tonight was no different. You know, Crystal Palace on Saturday, they were brilliant as well. So, you know, we're, we're all as a group, you know, not only the staff and the players, but the fans as well. And, and we want to do it for each other and we want to do it for them. And for you, I mean, if I'd have stood with you, the first win of the season Watford had was away at Cardiff, would you believe? And if I'd have said to you that night, last win of the season in Cardiff, would you take it? Yes, definitely. You know, but uh, we know the job's not done. You know, we came out, we, we gave the thanks to the crowd for, for a great atmosphere and a great day, but we know that we still got one game left. You know, I, I, we're not in there celebrating. We're, we're in there happy to, happy to be in the final, but uh, by no means is it over. And it's cutting into your summer holiday but I suspect come Sunday week in the evening, you may not mind. No, uh, you know, holidays are holidays, but the Premiership is a completely different bag of chips, so we're definitely hoping to get there.